Well, to continue the, uh, the analysis of this uh, uh, heretical uh, remark, Pastor Robert Jeffress, member of the White House Faith Initiative, pastor of the First Baptist Church of Dallas, Fox Business contributor, author of the new book, Praying for America. It's available everywhere right now. We recommend it to you highly. And I have to say, Pastor, your tweet uh, said it all. Can, may I quote your tweet uh, to begin? Because I, I just love this. Uh, well, I'm, you know what? That's rude. You, you tell us what you, your reaction to the uh, to Don Lemon. Well, this quote made Don Lemon and CNN the uncontested champions of fake news. And and look, this wasn't just some uh, minor theological point, Lou. Don Lemon attacked the most basic tenet of Christianity that Jesus was the perfect Son of God. And because he was perfect, he was qualified to die for our sins instead of having to die for his own sins. And you know, the fact that Lemon got this wrong not only shows how totally deaf the left is to issues of faith, but it shows the double standard when it comes to Christianity. I mean, Lou, just imagine if Don Lemon had said the same thing about the prophet Muhammad, the founder of Islam, and said he wasn't perfect. There would have been an outcry from millions of Muslims around the world. CNN would be on the air every hour on the hour for two weeks apologizing for that statement. Well, I think CNN needs to apologize for offending millions of Christians around the world and Don Lemon's offensive statements, but I'm not going to hold my breath and wait for that apology. Uh, well, you know what? I, I have to say, Tony Dungy, uh, his remark was just uh, spot on. Uh, he's a gentleman. He was much kinder about it than I would have been in response, uh, <laughs> as were you. Uh, this is, uh, listen to what, he, he used this, that as a premise. Uh, he has to attack Jesus for uh, crying out loud in order to say, why are we deifying then the founders of this country, uh, many of whom own slaves? I mean, it's idiotic. Who's deifying anyone who was a leader of this country? We are commemorating great founders of this nation, uh, and we should celebrate uh, all that they have achieved. We are the beneficiaries of it. Uh, not, uh, you know, Mr. Lemon is a little ungrateful, it seems, and uh, a little hysterical. Well, there are no perfect people, and if we tear down statues to every imperfect person, there will be no statues, because the Bible says we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But thank God we have a Savior who was perfect and can pay for our sins and offer God's forgiveness. Well, I, I want to turn to uh, to Biden uh, basically saying that uh, he would vow to uh, uh, overturn the Supreme Court's decision uh, that allows religious liberty exemptions to the mandate, the Obamacare mandate on contraceptives. Uh, your reaction to that? Look, there is no doubt what Joe Biden is going to do. He's made it very clear. He's going to put liberal judges on the court. He's going to undo these religious liberty uh, landmark decisions that uh, President Trump has helped to encourage. I mean, just this week, we saw the Supreme Court say in a 7-2 decision that religious organizations should have the right to discriminate in who they hire and only hire those who agree to the lifestyle and to the beliefs that that organization uh, uh, purports to uh, 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 present. Joe Biden is going to undo that. Joe Biden has been bought and sold for by Planned Parenthood. He's going to push the barbaric late-term abortion agenda. And so there's never been a clearer choice, Lou, in what's going to happen on November 3rd. If you like life, if you like religious liberty, then vote for President Donald Trump. If you're ready to give up the right to religious liberty, if you're willing to give up freedom, if you want to see the unborn slaughtered by the millions, then vote for Joe Biden. Well, uh, the Supreme Court, which has done some crazy things, I believe, over the past uh, couple of weeks, uh, they've done some right things, too. The Supreme, ruling, uh, Supreme Court ruling that uh, it was a 7-2 decision that religious schools have a right to hire whomever they choose and are not uh, subject to anti-discrimination laws. Uh, your thoughts about the impact of that ruling? 
Well, uh, the White House was right. This was a landmark ruling for religious liberty. And Lou, as you've alluded to, I mean, we know sometimes the courts don't get it right. Uh, there's no such thing as a sure thing when it comes to court decisions. But we also know the odds of a conservative decision are greater with conservative judges the more you have. And the odds of having conservative judges are much greater in 2021 with a President Trump than with the would-be President Biden. And this is why November 3rd is so essential. Pastor Robert Jeffress, as always, thanks so much for being with us. Have a great weekend, Pastor. Uh, stay with us. We'll be right back.